So should pine martins be reintroduced to the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley? Quick bit of history. It was really Victorian gamekeepers that initially knocked back pine martins so that by the early 1900s they were really only found in the northwest of Scotland and some small scattered pockets across England and Wales. Uh, over the last 30 years the population in Scotland has done pretty well expanding its range but, um, but in England and Wales the population was thought to be too small to recover. So over the last three years the Vincent Wildlife Trust have translocated 51 animals from Scotland to central Wales to create a proper population there to reinforce that scattered existing one. That Welsh population is just 100 kilometres from the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley. So one of the things we've done is predict how it might expand over the next 20 to 30 years. We expect the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley to be naturally recolonised by that Welsh population, which is just 100 kilometres away. So this is crucial. Why should we consider a reintroduction if the species is going to get here anyway? So what we did is we also looked at what would happen if we did establish a population here. The two populations quickly merge over the next 15 to 20 years. So here's the interesting bit. Establishing that second population had a real impact on the overall likelihood of population success. So some of our modelling indicated that extinction risk would be reduced from 22% down to 5% for the entire population. And that's for a whole variety of reasons. Fundamentally, two populations are better than one. So you'll have individuals migrating between the two, mutually reinforcing each population. So for instance, if one population has a bad year, it might get reinforced by the other population, which might have a slightly better year. Secondly, 51 individuals is not a huge population size. So individuals within that population will quite quickly start breeding with cousins. And as we know, this is not a great idea. It also increases the overall genetic diversity of the population, having that second uh, population, which is great for long-term survival of the species. So that's the real reason for a reintroduction. It's for the conservation of the species across England and Wales, rather than just a specific reintroduction to the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley. I hope you've enjoyed this blog. Next vlog soon. Thanks.